Hey love buns, it's Heidi. How are you guys, friends and family? How are you doing? Mwah. I miss you all so much, I, I really do. And I know I can call, but I haven't. Am I lazy? Yeah, I might be. Well guys, I hope that you are all doing well. I'm gonna put this here. Oh my goodness. It is Sunday. I forgot the date. Oh. Hey now. Mm. Okay. But it is Sunday, April something. And yes, I am here inside the therapy room. Um, not massaging. <laughs> Um, I'm just going to give you a brief update on what the family over here has been up about and I hope that you guys chime on in and you tell me what you've been up to. Um, okay, so first I'm going to say quarantine, it really doesn't bother me because like I think during the daytime I quarantine myself anyway just so I'm not like outside in the sun. But, but in the afternoon, I do like to be able to go places and do stuff and be places and I can't. And that part of it is bothering me. So like the daytime to afternoon part, no big deal. But the afternoon to night part is making me crazy. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, so I really... I really have to say that quarantine is not something that should be in effect for for a tremendously long period of time. I think it will cause people to be like kind of antisocial. So I am going to be doing as many live streams as possible. Uh, so that way I feel like I'm socializing. So I'm not gonna lose my social skills or my mind apparently. Um, if you guys are just coming on, hi, welcome. Um, I can't read your text right now. If you type something, that's awesome. Go ahead and type it and I will see it later. Um, but I'm just gonna, like I said, just give you a little update on what we're doing and how we're doing it. All right, so when it comes to Tom, Tom is an introvert by nature and he loves, loves, loves to be at home, either at home or fishing. Um, those are the two places that he wants to be like 24 seven. Um, so <laughs> he is enjoying the quarantine. <laughs> Whereas, um, Lexi and Asia, she likes being home, but she would enjoy like to be able to go out with her friends every now and again or hang out with her sister, like go drink some boba tea or stuff like that. Um, Emmanuel is definitely being affected by the quarantine because he no longer has his extracurricular activities. He was in tennis. Um, yeah, and going to the gym and things like that and not able to do not not being able to do those type of things. Like he's just like, What do I do? And I totally get that. So um right now Emmanuel's being homeschooled uh during the day. We have work that the school awesomely provides for the, the kids, both in paperwork and online work and they get this work done. And then every Monday morning, we go back to the school and we drop off the work and then we come back again and restart the week. Oh, hiccup. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I don't know why, but like I'm holding in a lot of gas. Um, being inside the house, like, for me, it's not exactly the healthiest for me because I do have in-house allergies to dust. 
So waking up in the mornings and just like cleaning my house is an absolute must, 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 must. I cannot let my house get dusty if I'm gonna be staying in it like all day, all night sort of situation. So my allergies have been like inflamed to the max. Oh my goodness. Um, and because my allergies were inflamed, like I was rubbing my eye too much. Ah. And now like I kind of have a little bit of pink eye. It's not really bad, which is great, but I need to keep my hands away from my eyes. Um, speaking of hands, been reinforcing and telling everyone I know, just make sure you wash your hands. Um, not just your hands, let's make this clear, because we touch our faces a lot as humans. I don't know why we do that, we do that a lot. Hmm. And um, when we touch our faces a lot, like there's bacteria on your face too, and it can spread, and even though if you're wearing a mask, and a hat, and a hoodie, and you look like you're gonna rob somebody, Chances are, if you're like touching your face to wipe that sweat off and then you shake someone's hand or even fist bump them, um, you're spreading stuff. So keep your hands off your face. I guess that's like the only thing I can tell you. Your hair, I guess, fine. I'm not really too worried about your hair, but like your face. So that's my, that's my <laughs> disclaimer. All right. So over here at the Tran household, um, there's been a lot of changes. So let me take you around my therapy room because my therapy room has definitely changed. Let me hold on just a second so I can flip this. If I remember how to flip it. Ah! Oh, it changed up. There it is. Yay. Okay. So I want to thank Lynn so much, my friend Lynn. And if you're watching this, hi, love you. Um, she made these and she gave these to me. And this is just so pretty. And this is just on the back of my doors. And then this one too. And my son helped me mount it. I'm not very good at mounting things on my own. And these are just so beautiful. And we also, this is like all my massage stuff is over here because at the moment I'm not able to massage anyone or do any reflexology. So I cannot wait for this um, quarantine to be over because this is my passion. This is what I love to do. Got this little picture here. Everyone in the house thinks that this picture is scary or creepy. I think it's peaceful. I think it's because they didn't grow up with like a lot of nature around. This is like my new background. Like I'm going to be putting um, green screen and everything up on here. So we just have like this little scaffold here. So when I do like my skits and stuff, at least we'll have green screen. And I don't know where my husband got this from. He, I think it from like a client. And it says the Virgin Islands, and it shows a map of the Virgin Islands. So if any of you have ever been to the Virgin Islands, that's pretty cool. And I just liked it. I liked it so much, I decided to put it up in the room. So that's the room, minus, you know, the scaffolding that we have here. But, yeah. Okay, wait, wait. Let me turn this back around. La, la, la. Yay! Okay, so... Um, with everything that's been going on here in the household, the dogs, I think the dogs have been so confused. We've been home for so long and they're just like, why, why are you still here? Um, <laughs> I think before they always just wanted to like go with us. Here, I'll put this here. Oops, it did something. Do, all right, there we go. They changed the bottom of this. Actually, I'll have to look at that later. But yeah, they changed kind of the format, which is kind of cool. All right, oh, I hope you can still see me. Um, okay, so like I said, oh my goodness, I'm drawing a blank. Uh, yeah, so the dogs, the dogs, they've been kind of like, oh, hey, I'll hang out with you. And then they're just like, nah, be gone. And my dog, Loyal, will actually go inside his own cage and just sit there and just view things and just be like looking around like they gotta leave sometime. 
<laughs> Our little dog, Jeet, though, like, she's getting sick of playing with my son a lot, a little too quickly. She's a small dog, and she's just all about, like, don't touch me, don't be near me, go back to school, kid. Uh, she's done. She's over it. So... <laughs> And I honestly, I honestly think that that's the way that most of us are. And I think it's because we, as a society, have just grown so apart, even within our own families. Like, we've just gotten so used to the fact that we each just do our own thing. And family is just a word that associates you with the people you live with. It's not really necessarily what you are. So, and I think that now that families are forced to actually be around each other, they're actually able to see how each other are and like, oh my gosh, you have these quirks. How come I didn't know that about you? Or, um, you, you like to do this in your free time? Like really? You know, like we're finding out so much more about each other, I feel as, as the quarantine continues. So in a way it's, it's a good thing because like you're able to find more about those people that you live with, those people that you say that you love, that um, your family, you know, like they're your people, but you really don't know them, do you? Yeah. And this quarantine gives you a great opportunity to really get to know them. So, um, yeah. On the same hand, it gives you an opportunity to really get to know them. And that might not always be a good thing. You might be like, wow, who am I living with? <laughs> and yeah, and that's okay too. That's okay too. Uh, <laughs> because you will find out more about each other and yeah, and it's a learning experience. Okay, so... I hope that you guys are all doing well. I really, really, really am hoping that you guys are healthy, that not only mentally, but physically as well, because I know that during the quarantine, someone had mentioned this to me and I forgot who it was, but like at the moment it was like really funny until I thought about it. And the, the joke was this, by the time the quarantine's over, everyone would have gained like, uh, 20 extra pounds and I was like ha 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 that's so true and then I was like oh crud that's so true because some people take this quarantine as an opportunity as an excuse to stay home and just be like well <laughs> it's quarantine I shouldn't have to do anything because I have to stay here I can't work I can't do this I can't do that you can there's plenty of work at home jobs there are plenty of things that you can do with inside your house, but most people don't want to because like I said before, we've grown so far apart as a society that we feel that we can't do anything without the approval of others. Um, and the best way to get that approval is to be out there with them. Um, this quarantine is actually gonna give a challenge to a lot of people who are just having difficulties with what to do with themselves. This quarantine gives you an opportunity to find out who you are as well. Are you really deep inside a couch potato? Um, are you really deep inside that person that just gives up on life? Are you really deep inside that person that just cannot function without society? Um, then you really need to take this time to reflect. And if that's the person you wanna be, then that's the person you wanna be. But you can't expect other people to take care of you because of your decisions. I know this is gonna hit a lot of you kind of uh, in the feels because a lot of you are like, well, I lost my job because of the quarantine. What am I supposed to do? You got a family? Keep pushing. Um, I don't wanna work at home because I have small children at home. And it, it, you know, there's just, it's just going to stress me too much. What's more important? So a lot of people like myself, like I can't work at home right now. 
Uh, I'm a massage therapist, but most importantly, I do reflexology and I've been doing it from my home for a while. Not able to do that right now. So I'm doing the next best thing. I'm going on social media. I'm going to be making a whole bunch of new content for my YouTube channel. I still homeschool my children. I make sure that my kids keep up on their social aspects, calling friends, making sure that they are talking back and forth with other humans so they don't lose any of their social abilities. I do take them from walks from time to time because they have to be able to go outside. In fact, here's a human right now. Which one is it? Me. Hey, hey Tom, come say hi. Faith here, I want to talk to you. Oh, Faith is here? Okay, well, I'm doing a live stream right now. Ask Faith to eat, and then, yeah, by that time, yeah. Yay! So, my other daughter's here. Yay! Ah! So exciting. Awesome. So, we, I know there's been, like, a shortage of food everywhere. Not just in my town, my city, whatever, but, like, everywhere. And... I'm just so grateful we still have chicken. Yeah. Because <laughs> right now our household, my husband and the kids mostly eat chicken and rice with vegetable. I just eat chicken and vegetable. I kind of skip that rice. So, but yeah, so back to what I was saying. Okay, about staying active while you're not being active. If you have a family and you are the breadwinner for your family, please, 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 I urge you, do not go crying to the government as your first line of defense. Once everyone does that, the government will maybe not run out of money because money is printed, but we will definitely go into a recession. That's not good for our country at all, guys. Recessions, depressions, those are bad things. Those are when like your money is worthless. And we don't want to get into that. If you have any type of skill or any type of talent that you can showcase to bring in revenue, if you have any type of craft that you can do with your hands that maybe you can sell on Etsy or maybe you can just... Um, like there's this guy that my daughter knows that he actually makes the face masks, washable face masks um, for people who need them. So if you have any type of talent, anything at all that could be profitable to help your family, please do it. Please don't just give in to this, oh, what was me? Oh my gosh, my life is so hard. And I just absolutely need like, like... $800 a, a, a week from the government, nobody makes that much money. But I promise you, if the government offers it, nine out of 10 of you will be like, yeah, I'll take seven, 800 a week. Shoot, I'd be happy with just 500 a month because I don't even make that much. But I know that if I put the work, the time and the effort into it, I will be able to do something to help my family. I'm very blessed at this moment that Tom is able to have a job that at the moment that we do not have to rely on our haunches, so to speak, to like move things along. And if it ever did come to that, I and he absolutely did lose his job or if there absolutely was no work, I would be like, okay, Tom, you have a talent. He is actually a gifted artist. My husband is an amazing artist and I would totally be all on top of that for him to do that someone just knocked hello hey it's my nephew yay come say hello no one's behind me it's the scaffolding so the, we're gonna be putting up a green screen here for when I'm doing my projects yeah and then this is the light right here above and stuff like that. But I'm using natural sunlight right now. Come here, give me love. How are you? Oh. Is that TikTok? Is it? No, this is Facebook. Say hi to the fam. <laughs> that was fake. Do you want do you wanna say hi? No? Well come over here and I'll give you a hug over here. Wait one second, guys. 
Okay, that's an awkward hug. Thanks. Like you literally just hug like by my ear. Okay. <laughs> like here. I have this hug. <laughs> All right, I love you guys. Okay. So, yeah, my family's a bit shy to come online and that's okay. That's them. But yeah, so if worse came to worse, I would definitely be like getting the drawing pens, the gel pens, whatever, and like getting that the paper ready and then setting up an Etsy account and be like, all right, who wants to buy some art? Um, <laughs> because you got to do what you got to do. God gave you gifts. Learn to use them. If massage therapy is your gift, then maybe what you can do for other people is like teach them about relaxation and about how massage can be beneficial to them, things like that. Um, I know there is not a lot of opportunities for therapists like myself right now, but if you have other talents, use those talents. Encourage the people around you. Because like I said, if everyone who has lost their job just immediately runs to the government to like get that little cash advance because you haven't taken the time to save, which is your fault. I'm not even gonna lie, we're in that boat too. We, we don't have a lot in our nest egg. Life happens. But if you're not willing to go above and beyond your own spectrum and then cry about it because no one's willing to help you, dude, don't, just please. Um, not everybody has like an overshadowing talent that they can be good at, but you never know what you're good at until you try. I'm encouraging all of you to at least try something, anything to keep your mind off the quarantine. You may find that you have a hidden talent that you can profit from. I'm not talking prostitution. I'm talking more along the lines of just anything else. <laughs> but if you have like a talent that you didn't know you had, hey, that's great. You found something else awesome about yourself. And self-realization is the best realization. Um, yeah. Well, anyway, the fam is all getting together. They're a bit to sit down to eat and talk. So, and I think they want me out there to talk too. But I want to leave this with you guys. You can help yourself. You can help yourself stay safe. Not just by washing your hands, washing your face too. Making sure that when you go out, you have those masks on. Making sure that when you go out, you keep your hair tucked under your hat. This is what my sister talked with me yesterday, so thank you for that, Sarah. Um, and making sure that when you come back home, throw all your stuff in the wash and put it on the sanitize cycle. So that way your stuff can be sanitized. And also, figure out what it is that you're good at, okay? Because the more you help yourself is the more that you're gonna be able to help your families. And during this time of quarantine, our families are all we have. So let's keep it positive, okay? All right, I will talk with you guys another time. <clears throat> I, I know I'm coming. I will talk with you guys another time. I want to tell you that I love you. And for all of those who are watching, mwah, big kisses, okay? All right, we'll talk again soon. Bye-bye.